With scorching temperatures, most farmers in India are at the risk of spoilage of harvest and produce, resulting in the increased need for cooling. However, most farms are not connected to the grid. This inadequate access to energy and cooling facilities results in the loss of livelihoods, income and productivity for horticulture, fish and dairy farmers. This is where Decentralized Renewable Energy or DRE can help. I am Divya Gaur. I work as a program lead at CEW and today I am going to talk about how DRE powered solutions can reduce the risk of harvest and produce spoilage. DRE technologies locate clean energy production closer to the site of energy consumption. In this case, DRE powered refrigerators and cold storages can help small scale farmers and micro entrepreneurs reduce the wastage of perishable products. CEEW's research finds that solar powered cold storages can impact 4.3 million livelihoods in India. That said, these technologies are deployed only in hundreds as of now. So, how can the adoption of these cooling solutions be scaled up? First, generating end user awareness is the key here. Setting up experience centers and conducting hyperlocal events can create awareness and help the potential users understand the benefits of these solutions. Second, improving end users' access to finance is critical because they are often unable to bear the upfront cost of the technology. This is where ecosystem enablers like government policymakers and market accelerators can help. This will build confidence among financial institutions to provide affordable credit facilities for the purchase of these clean energy technologies. Finally, exploring innovative models where cooling is provided as a service, making it affordable and more accessible to the grassroots communities. This also helps users save upfront cost and minimizes technology and operational risks. As India accelerates its clean energy transition, let's tap into the power of the sun to minimize food losses and help farmers earn better.